I forgot to say at the beginning of the day that um, the, the, our book, the DIY Spud Fit Challenge, the how-to guide of how to do the, uh, the a Spud Fit Challenge for yourself if you want to do it, it's been available on Amazon for a long time, which most of you probably already know, but you can look it up, the DIY Spud Fit Challenge by Andrew Taylor and Mandy Van Dan on Amazon. Anyway. We've updated it. We made a couple of small changes. We made it reflowable, I think it's called, which means that um, that like the text can be resized and things like that. So for people that have been complaining that it's too small, the text too small and you can't see it, then that's that. Uh, anyway, on with the day. I'd had a big day and it was awesome. And here it is. Morning, everyone. I've just woke up. I thought I'd do a, I haven't been, done a YouTube for a while, I thought I'd do a video about my day. Let's start off with breakfast, big bowl full of frozen broccoli. I'm going to microwave that for two minutes, I won't show you that though, you can just see what happens after. I'm going well, to put this plate upside down on top of it to trap the steam in. I'm going to microwave it for two minutes and then I'll show you the next step. Next step, I have chopped up the broccoli make it a bit smaller so it mixes through a bit easier and then you get a sweet potato out of the fridge hello teddy teddy's just woken up thanks buddy teddy's just brought me my ipad i don't know why hello mate oh, thank you for bringing my ipad buddy all right oh thanks mate that's good closing the microwave for me good on you buddy a yes, it is, mate. Thank and you. It, it can't be in the kitchen. Yes, it's in the kitchen. Good boy, mate. Thank you. All right. So now I've only got one hand, and I'm holding holding the camera at the moment. But so I won't do all this on camera. But anyway, I put that big sweet potato in, and I'm going to chop it up, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this my favourite salsa on it. Not sponsored. It's just a good salsa. It's um like a smoky. Um, spicy salsa. And then I'm going to give it another two minutes in the microwave, then I'm going to eat it. Alright, there's not much to look at, but there it is. <laughs> it's got salsa, broccoli, and sweet potato. Oh, and I put a little bit of nutritional yeast in it too. Nooch for people that want to go with the slang. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Quite good. So, frozen broccoli in, two minutes in the microwave, sweet potato in, and salsa in, another two minutes in the microwave. Food of champions, simple foods for simple dudes. Now, let's go and tackle the day. All right, I'm out, I'm training. I've, uh, I've, I've not been feeling great the last couple of days. Nothing serious, it's not like, it's not like, uh, major major troubles but it's time to do something about it so i've got like six and a half hours spare now we're not spare i've decided not to do other things that are important as well anyway teddy's at kinder and then he's got a babysitter for a couple of hours after that and i am gonna spend the whole amount of time on my scooter there it is the noble speed noble steed not speed i'll be going slow <laughs> Anyway, it's a long time since I've done uh, this amount of training uh, or anything. Uh, I normally go for an hour and a half to two hours. I've never done longer than that in I don't know how long. I can't remember doing longer than that. Um, probably at least seven years, I'd say. Anyway, I'm going to see what happens if I spend that long on the scooter. I've got a couple of bananas and a couple of mandarins with me and I've got a... I've got some money too, so I can buy more stuff if I need it. And, uh, well, let's see what happens. All right, we've been going for a while. <laughs> I don't know, maybe 40 minutes. Stop, we've been riding along the beach. Stop for a banana. I don't normally eat while I'm training because I don't really need it in only two hours, but I figure I better eat if I'm going to be going for a long time. So, nothing much to report. I'm just enjoying myself. There's a helicopter, you can hear, you can see, and it's a beautiful day. I think this is just what I needed so far. Let's see how I feel in six hours though. <laughs> I've made a cool discovery. 
that I just wanted to share with you guys. I found, oh, I didn't find Westgate Park. I mean, Westgate Park, this is like in the middle of, you can probably hear the traffic in the background. There's Westgate Bridge over there. It's like a, a huge motorway. You can probably hear some construction site noises around. I think there's a crane. Yeah, there's a crane over there. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway. And there's this beautiful little park. I knew it was here. I've driven past it, but I've never been in before. I didn't realize it was actually so lovely. So there we go. I'm scooting around Westgate Park. I don't know where I'll end up. Let's see. Another little food break. I'm on the Yarra. Having a banana. There's my second banana. I love it here. There's the city in the background. Over there is all the rowing clubs, and landings over there. Beautiful day. It's probably 15 degrees, I guess. It's not very hot, but it's lovely. I like being here. I did a lot of kayak squad training on this river growing up. More up that way. There's a um, Oh, you can't really see it, but just over there is the um, tennis centre where the Australian Open tennis is held and then behind that, sort of over in that direction, is the MCG, which is uh, one of the biggest sporting stadiums in Australia where they play Australian football. Holds 100,000 people, it's pretty epic. You got um, that spire there, is the Melbourne Arts Centre. Um, yeah, cool spot. I'm going to have my banana and maybe a mandarin as well. And then I'm going to hit the track again. Having a great time. Forgot to show you what I ate. I've ridden 26, kil 26 kilos, 26 kilometers so far on a scooter. And I've stopped at Serotonin Eatery in Richmond. It's beautiful. And I had the most delicious um, gluten-free organic um, fruit toast. This is a refueling stop. I had four bits of toast with this um, organic sugar-free jam with chia seeds and stuff in it. That used to be there. <laughs> anyway, this is a cool place. Serotonin Eatery, it's all um, just delicious and beautiful and, uh, and Emily who runs the place is awesome. Anyway, back on the bike. Just stopping to check out the view. Yeah. City. In the background, I'm puffing a bit because I've ran up the hill to get here. Nice spot. There's a trail down there that I've been following. You might be able to see the lights there of the MCG, those white light towers in the middle of the screen. That's the stadium I was telling you about before. And of course, Melbourne City. <sighs> this day is good for the soul. Just another good view. The city. Just come up that long hill. I guess it doesn't look like a hill on the camera, but it's hard going. And there you go. A good little look at the city. All right, on we go. Oh, just got to Ivanhoe Canoe Club. That's the, yeah, the clubhouse in the background there. And down those steps, or that path and steps, is down to the Yarra in Ivanhoe. And uh, I used to train here quite a bit in the kayak with uh, the kayaking squads that I used to be part of. So that's nice to be back here. I haven't been here in a long time. And also I've hit, I've gone over 50 k's on the scooter for the day so far. Furthest I've done until this point is 38k. So, yeah, 50k is done, and I'm a long way from home. I don't know how far I am from home, but I don't know. Maybe we'll hit 100 for the day. That'd be cool. I'm feeling good. I'm enjoying it. I haven't been pushing too hard. I am getting tired, but yeah, going well. All right, I'm going to keep pushing on. Mandarin stop. It's um. I'm in Hawthorne now. There's a Hawthorne rowing club over there. I think it's I think there's Hawthorne rowing club and the other one's Xavier College rowing club. Pretty sure that's how it goes. Um, 
Yeah, so that's another place where I used to do a lot of training and I'd recently joined back in with a the squad there. This has become a tour of Andrew's old kayaking spots. <laughs> anyway, a nice spot for a bit of mandarin. 60 k's down. It's a beautiful spot. Again, it's a pretty built up area. You can see the bridge up there. It's pretty busy. You can probably hear the traffic. And it's like a lovely bit of nature in the middle of um, the busyness. I'm going to enjoy my mandarin and then hit the trail again. Alright, 70 k's done now. I'm starting to get a bit tired but still enjoying it. I'm at South Bank. So there's the river obviously. Looking back towards the city that way. Well, we're in the city but yeah, no, that's looking back in towards the centre, like Flinders Street area. Uh, there's, oh, sorry, there's Crown Casino over there. It's a lovely spot. I'm going to see if I can find some food and then I'll keep going home. Oh, almost up to 80 k's now. It's about half an hour, 40 minutes since I last filmed and said I was going to find some food. I didn't find any until just now. I've got this um, homemade oat slice thing and it uh, looks pretty good. Mm. I'm really starting to suffer actually. Getting cramps in my hamstrings and quads. It's been a long day, but I'm really loving it. This is um, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to suffer for a day. I wanted to I wanted to feel some pain. Let me know I'm alive. <laughs> so I've probably got 40 minutes or so until I'm going to be home. Got a coconut water too. I think it's going to be a long 40 minutes, but I'll get there and then I'll hang out with Teddy for a while. Well, that was a long, hard day. Been cramping for the last hour and a half. But I made it home and it was good. That was just what I needed. There you go, that was the day. I was also not very good at showing you my food. I showed you lots of the food, but not all of it. Anyway, here's a salad that I'm having now. It's like heaps and heaps of different veggies all chopped up really tiny it's good there's like cabbage zucchini um, apples in there there's um, heaps of rocket I, I think in the US you call that arugula arugula it's like a foghorn <laughs> arugula um, there's pumpkin seeds in there cauliflower um, I can't remember what else, but there's lots of stuff and you just put it in the food processor and chop it up really small and then eat it and it's good. Um, anyway, that was the day. Um, if you're interested in what I'm doing, then if you, sorry, if you like what I'm doing, share it with your friends, that'd be great. And if you want to join the SpudFit Challenge, then go to the website spudfit.com and click on Take the Challenge. It's going really well. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Spud up.